Uh, Matt Olson, that was that was the stunner, the big trade of last year, where he was brought over from the Oakland A's. Sean Murphy was brought to the Braves from the Oakland A's, part of a three-team trade in December. This was a significant move. Murphy going into his age 28 season at a 120 OPS plus, and I know uh, Anthony Recker had him, I think, fourth among top 10 catchers right now. The Shredder had him fourth. I had him fifth, so very highly regarded. Anthony and Bo in Studio 42. Anthony, give me thoughts on Murphy and why you think he's one of the better catchers in the game. Yeah, we, look, we saw him swinging right there, and he's going to be an offensive force in this ballpark. Uh, but I heard Buck Showalter last week when, you know, Mets were reporting to camp and he's getting asked about the NL East and how tough it's going to be. Uh, he even mentioned that – yeah, that Sean Murphy trade was very significant. It's going to be significant within this, within this division because that guy can do a lot of stuff behind the plate. Number one, he can throw the, he can throw the baseball. And we're going to get into this a little bit here. Uh, Sean Murphy behind the plate, he has – and hey, look, we're going to talk about this a lot this year because realistically – this is going to be a big part of the game. We got the bigger bases, somewhat shorter base paths because of it, limited amount to, to pick off for the, for the pitcher. So you're going to talk about the base running game a lot this year. You see some of these deals. This is already early in camp. Well, Murphy can eliminate that himself. You want the pitchers to help you, but this guy's footwork, his arm strength, his ability to be accurate with the baseball, and I love that last one there. That ball's in the dirt. He picks that and makes a beautiful throw to second base. And then, as we're also going to get into, the back picks. I think this is going to be huge within the game of baseball because you've now limited the amount of times that a pitcher can disengage with the rubber. He's not going to be able to use that to keep guys close, to pick off. So you've got a guy here in Sean Murphy with a great arm, a quick release, he is going to have the ability to help in that category, to keep guys close, to have them thinking in the back of their mind, well, even if I want to go and I don't get a good jump and I try to get back, I might be picked off. If I get lazy out here, I might get picked off. You're trying to figure out ways to keep those runners where they are, keep them close to the base, and having a guy like back here with that kind of a weapon could be huge. When you talk about this season and going into it and the strategy that's going to be involved, I think that back picking is going to be a big part of it. Yes, it's called a competitive advantage. And when you look at the Atlanta Braves making this trade for Murphy, they realize the competitive advantage that it's going to give them, not just putting down fingers and catching the baseball. Ball. But now when you start to talk about controlling the running game, you talked about the pitchers having limited opportunities to disengage. Having a guy like Murphy behind the plate is going to make base runners think twice, not only about stealing bases, but also think twice about how aggressive am I going to be with my secondary, my secondary lead? lead. Because yep. now let's just say you get to the point where the pitcher has already disengaged twice. Now you have a guy back here, you don't have to pick over. You can just give him a chance to make sure you're slot stepping. So if that base runner go, they're thinking to themselves, I may get thrown out, and if I get too far off the base, he's going to back, back pick me. Absolutely, I love it. I mean, this is a guy who has uh, last year tied for second in pop time to second base. Uh, he's got the arm strength, top 10 in arm strength in all of baseball among catchers. Uh, the, the release time, very good. Uh, this guy can be an absolute weapon for the Atlanta Braves, and I think they were forward thinking in this move and bringing him in. Travis Darno, great defensive catcher, great framer. Sean Murphy, by the way, top five framer in all of baseball. Travis Darno, great framer, hasn't always been a great thrower. That's where they were thinking when they went with this move, plus the offensive potential that he brings in this ballpark. Yes. Unbelievable. BK, back to you, baby. Yeah, going to be uh, – baby me? Uh, there, there's <laughs> – there's going to be a lot more stolen base attempts this year. Probably higher success rate. Bases are a little bigger. Can only go over there twice. So they are looking ahead.